subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about the concept called multiple regression. So I request you please follow us from the beginning uh, because in and out uh, we use all the concepts which we discussed in our previous classes. So please follow us from the beginning. Uh, this concept is an extension to our previous concept. What, what's that concept is linear regression. Uh, so what we did in our linear regression, we considered a data set. What's the data set we considered in our linear regression? We considered a data set called build amount and tip amount. So how many columns we had in our data set? Two columns. So we represented the data in a two dimensional coordinate space. So what we did in linear regression is we identified a line that passing through the data and this line should have a minimum loss. That is what we identified in linear regression. Let's extend this concept to three-dimensional and n-dimensional. That is what we call it as multiple regression. Okay, let's take a data set, bill amount, number of persons attended, tip amount. This data set we already discussed in our previous class in plane and hyperplane concept. So I'm not taking much on this data set this is having three columns so we re represent this data in three dimensional coordinate space so in three dimensional co coordinate space we don't have lines we will have planes so what's our task here is we have to identify a plane that passing through the data and it should have a minimum loss Okay, you understand, we have to identify a plane that passing through the data and it should have a minimum loss. So what's our loss function is? Our loss function is y minus y hat whole square sigma i is equal to 1 to n. Means all the data points identify the loss and sum them up. Y means actual tip amount. That is what we collected. The tip amount, actual amount minus y hat means predicted tip amount how we predict here based on the plane we will predict the tip amount what's the equation of plane y hat is equal to w1 x plus w2 z plus w0 that's the equation of the plane all these concepts we discussed in our previous classes so please follow us from the beginning from the beginning otherwise you don't understand this okay so we use plane here to identify to predict the tip amount because we are having three dimensional coordinate space because we are having three columns we represent the data in three dimensional coordinate space we have to identify a plane okay what's the equation of the plane w1 x plus w2 z plus w0 so here how many different variables are there we have to identify we have to identify w1 w2 and w0 what's the meaning of this equation at what w0 w1 and w2 we are having minimum loss that's the meaning of this equation this is an optimization function okay what's the optimization function for multiple regression the same optimization function function but here we are having a three different variables at what w0 w1 and w2 we are having minimum loss so how to identify w0 w1 and w2 this concept we already discussed in our previous classes how gradient descent works on more than one variable extend the concept to three variables so how we calculate loop till convergence identify w1 identify w2 identify w0 so randomly select w1 w2 and w0 in gradient descent these values will automatically adjust and goes towards the minimum loss what's here we what's the equation loss equation l is equal to this equation 
our W1, W2 and W0 adjusted and converge towards the minimum loss. Okay, this should be executed till convergence. We can extend this concept to n dimensions. After two dimensional coordinate system, we call it as multiple regression. If you extend this concept to four dimensional coordinate system, we call it as a, we have to identify a hyperplane. We don't call it as a plane. All these concepts we discussed. We, we have to identify a hyperplane that passes through the data and having minimum loss. Okay. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.